Right, so cheap, modified car insurance. Hey guys and welcome to a new video today. I'm going to be talking about car insurance and specifically modified car insurance policies. First of all, if you are going to go and modify your car and insure it, uh, you don't want to go on comparison sites like Compare the Market, Confuse.com, places like that, because they're going to give you companies that don't specialize in modified policies, which is going to push the premiums up. So if you want a cheap car insurance, it's best to go to direct to a specialized modified car insurance uh, broker. Now to name a few of them, and links will also be in the description below, but you have Adrian Flux, Greenlight Insurance, Brent Care, and Sky Insurance. That's just to name a few, links for those will be in the description below. The next thing is you've got to understand that your insurance policy might not reflect someone else's insurance policy. They might live near you, they might have the same car, it's not going to be the same for anyone. It all depends on, first of all, the company that you choose to insure your vehicle. Uh, it all depends on your area. It depends on the vehicle. It depends on the mods you've done. It depends on your age and also your driving background. It takes in many, many factors, including your job as well. So yeah, your, your policies aren't going to be the same as someone else. So don't be surprised if yours comes out slightly higher or slightly lower than someone who's very similar to you but not you. So yeah, getting your cheap modified car insurance. I'm gonna go through some of my stuff to let you guys know roughly what I'm paying and uh, my situation, because a lot of you guys ask me who I'm with and how much I'm paying in it, etc. So first of all, I'm roughly from this area. Now I'm not gonna obviously pinpoint where I am or like my house number or street or postcode or anything, because that's just personal and uh, yeah, I don't really wanna give out that information to everybody. Next, obviously, you know my car and I've done a video with the mod list. If you wanna know all the mods I've got on my car, then please check out the link in the description. All right, so next is age. I'm, I'm 22. I have been driving since 2013 on full license. So that gives me a good few years experience and in that time I have built up a no claims bonus discount that doesn't mean that i haven't had any accidents because i actually have next driving history i have had a few accidents there is one accident on the policies that i renew for this car i also have uh two or three more accidents um two on a different vehicle and a different line of policies but obviously i've still got to declare it and there was also an incident that I declared where I hit a deer in this car. Your insurance will also take into account any points, uh, any cancelled insurances and stuff like that. So I would always recommend telling the truth on your policy because if you do lie, they will cancel it. So yeah, another thing they take into consideration is your job. Obviously I'm a painter and decorator, so I put that down on mine. Where you live and Obviously I've said where I live, uh, roughly the area that I live in, um, but they take into consideration where the car is kept overnight and where it's kept during the day. So yeah, you can play around with that a little bit. I mean, if you do have the facility to put it in a garage, but you actually leave it out of the garage, then you can say you leave it in the garage, I suppose. Just make sure that you put it in the garage every now and again. But yeah, I'm not encouraging anyone to lie. Obviously, you know, please do tell the truth on your insurance policies. Another thing on security is if you have something like a disc lock or uh, another car securing device, that might also lower your premium. So it might be worth the investment of buying something like that to reduce the risk of your car being stolen, which in turn should bring your premium down. All right, so another thing that could bring your premium down a little bit is being in a car group. Now. 
a lot of car groups are on Facebook and then from that Facebook group people get in contact with insurance companies uh, and they work out a discount code for the club members. For instance, I drive a Mark 7 or Mark 7.5 uh, Fiesta and there is a discount code if you're in a certain club with one of these cars um, that you can use on some insurances. I believe Green Light, you can use it and possibly Adrian Flux, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely working out. If you are on Facebook, joining a car club and finding out whether they have a discount code for a certain insurance company. So obviously once you've entered all your details and you've you know declared all your mods, you've told them everything, um, they'll give you a price for your car insurance. Mine happened to be about 1,100, uh, but on top of that I did add breakdown cover, ring up direct, uh, ring a few companies, then come back, and if one, if you, if you want to go to a certain company, uh, but you got a cheaper quote elsewhere, um, let them know. Um, they'll, they'll want to beat it. I'm pretty sure that companies will want to beat it. Um, they want your business. They want your money at the end of the day. So, you know, if they lose out on you, then they're losing out on uh, an extra customer. So it's worth a go guys, if you do ring about and you get a cheaper quote elsewhere, you still want to go with that company, they might reduce the quote or you know they might even beat it. So that's another thing just to try out. So yeah, making sure you're going to a specialized modified car insurer. Also quoting whatever car club you're in on Facebook if they have a code with that company. Playing around with how secure your car is. Just having a play around with what modifications will raise your premium and what modifications will lower your premium. If you're a new driver and you're thinking about buying a modified car or buying a car and modifying it and insuring it, then for the first year, I would just have a black box because it's so much, It's um, obviously it's not ideal, but you will be paying a lot less for your first year, which may give you the money to save up to put aside for the modifications or for the insurance premium the next year. But it's worth having that one year's no claims and just that one year of driving under your belt with a black box um, before you before you uh, before you start modifying. Well, guys, I hope that video has helped you. Um, I know it's not obviously like a complete trip of how to get your insurance down to like basically nothing, but that's never going to happen. At the end of the day, you just want a few little tricks that you could possibly use to bring your insurance premium down. A lot of the time, it just comes to experience. That's how you get your uh, insurance down, building up your years of no claims and driving around sensibly, not having points on your license or anything. That's that's the real, real trick. But uh, for a lot of people, that doesn't always end up being like that. So using discount codes where you can is very handy. And also going to specialized companies is also uh, very, very handy.